Um, Solly, could you say what you said to me? What did you say? How are they the same or different? Look at my little special walk. Taking the children to bush preschool develops their sense of well-being by linking them to each other in a new context. Over the year, they've been building up their relations with each other and their trust with each other. In this new context, that really shines through. They are sticks, yeah, they're big sticks and logs, that's true. Does anybody have any ideas of what they might be for? My name's Zara Kay. I'm the teacher in charge at Rona Glynn Preschool in Alice Springs. Um, we have 62 children attending here. Today at Bush Preschool, we started by gathering in a circle, as we do, and grounding ourselves in the space. So close your eyes and just for one minute, I want you to have a think about what you can hear. Okay, so open your eyes and I'd love you to put your hand up and tell us what you heard. We sat together in a circle on the sand and noticed some of the things immediately around us. And we noticed too some of the things that had changed over time since we visited last. That's really important to support children's capacity to notice fine detail. Now they're very beautiful, aren't they? How do they feel, Ariane? Kind of soft? And Are they smooth. and smooth? Great. I was greatly influenced by a visit I made to Westgarth Kindergarten in Melbourne. Uh, I made a professional visit there uh, just to have a window into what some really reputable practice looked like in terms of preschool. The main philosophy behind it is that being in nature for children has a profound benefit on their development. A four-year-old's brain is still forming and setting up uh, patterns and capacities for the rest of that human being's life. So actually having exposure to a wide range of senses, experiences, it's a deeply rich environment and experience for the children involved, which does have an impact for the rest of their life. Great idea and really good because um, it brought the kids together because I was a bit worried about the game of Phoebe, everybody running away from yeah, Phoebe. Yeah, that's something we do at school anyway, so it's nice to do something a little bit different. And nice to have something that's inclusive rather than everybody running away that's from true. someone. I just wanted us to have a moment to, uh, in our meeting just to think about what went really well um, for the kids individually, but I guess also for the group, for us as a team and for the process of Bush Preschool. We got a lot of positive responses from our last Bush Preschool and a couple of really great suggestions. That feels really good that we're learning, the children are definitely learning, and the community of families has ownership of the process of learning that we're all doing together. So it's a very, very rich role, being a teacher in a preschool. I'm not sure everybody knows that. It's quite amazing. <laughs> These children are the problem solvers, inventors and leaders of the future. So Bush Preschool offers a very rich, authentic experience for children to take risks, to trust themselves and others, to feel success, to be inspired, and to connect with the land and the community that supports them. So this experience and the impact that it has on them, they'll take into their future lives. How do you actively ensure that each student is engaged in class activities? In what ways can teachers create a culture of risk-taking for students within safe learning environments? What exemplary programs in other schools have you identified, or can you identify, that are relevant to your professional needs or interests?